Folks, we're going to kick off the series here by installing Office for Business, and I'll show you how to do it for your personal home accounts as well. First thing you do want to do, though, is come down to your search area in Windows 11 and type default apps and go see if the computer came with any pre-installed apps. Typically, it's down here in the Microsoft area right over here. Um, mine happens to say Office here, but it's not installed. It's just a launch so you could get it if you want it. Or you can come down to your control panel, excuse me, and go to search and type control panel. And then come over to programs and uninstall the office from the list here. As you can see, I've already uninstalled mine. So once they're uninstalled, you can reboot if you like. Otherwise, you can uh, just head over to office.com. That is the login for any Microsoft account. And come over here to sign in. As you can see, I've already signed in with my demo account there. And now we're just going to put in the password. All right, here we go. So now in the business side, you're going to log into what's considered your portal. And you can see offices up here in the corner. And you go ahead and click Premium Office. And in Edge, it downloads in the upper right. In Chrome, it's in the lower left. Here we go. It's going to start installing. The installation period can take one or two minutes or longer if you're on um, a slower internet. All right, while that's installing, I'm going to show you how to install the personal version. So in the URL, type office.com slash my account. This will guarantee to get you in the personal side. You can go ahead and sign in. And I've already signed in before. And the portal for the uh, personal home accounts is similar to the business side. Um, you have the little blades over here on the left-hand side, and over here is the office installation right there. Or you can go over to the account over here and go to Microsoft account. And it's under services and subscriptions, but typically it is right in this area if you have a paid subscription. All right, so Office is now installed. We can hit close, and then we're going to come down to the search again here. Type Outlook, right-click, pin to taskbar. You can see here that this is how you add things quickly in Windows 11. Right-click, taskbar, and I'll do Excel also. You can go ahead and put in whatever you like. Now at the bottom are your three applications that you will use. Next thing you're going to want to do is launch Word and come over to the, oops, well, here it is. <laughs> We're going to sign in with our account here. You want to make sure you get it licensed properly. So we come and put in the same account that we paid for and type in right there. And we're going to put in the password. All right, I usually uncheck that and sign into this app only. And now when you come back to account over here, you're going to see that you are logged in with the user information and you're um, subscribed to the correct account. And then finally, I always tell people to check their updates. Go ahead and click that and hit update now. And if you click that button right here, there's no going back. So make sure you have everything saved before you uh, <laughs> make sure everything's saved, okay? Because you might be regretting that. But uh, update options, I'm up to date. Go ahead and hit close. And that's kind of it. A little simple video here on how to install Office for business and personal. If you have any questions, please email me, lisa at callthatgirl.biz, or feel free to call me at 612-865-4475. Thanks, and see you in the next video. And please remember to like the video, subscribe if you want to, and check out my series. Thanks.